I'll give the floor to a representative of UN Watch. Thank you, Mr. President. We commend Special Rapporteur Ziegler for raising in his report the plight of hunger migrants and refugees, including thousands who seek passage through Libya. This weekend's events are a tragic reminder. On Thursday, according to news reports, migrants in two boats sent a distress signal while off the Libyan coast. Regrettably, Libyan authorities and an Iranian cargo ship reportedly failed to go to their aid, despite requests from the Maltese authorities. The fate of these migrants remains unknown. This incident underscores the gross and systematic violations by Libya of the rights of hunger migrants and refugees. As the Special Rapporteur is aware, a major report by Human Rights Watch in September documented how Libya subjects migrants, asylum seekers, and refugees to serious human rights abuses, including beatings, forced return to countries where they could face persecution or torture, such as Eritrea and Somalia. Between 2003 and 2005, more than 140,000 people were subject to return or deportation. Mr. Ziegler, though your report cites the Libyan situation only in passing, you were uniquely positioned to protect these victims. As you mentioned last year on Swiss TV, once or twice a year, you are personally hosted by Colonel Gaddafi, the brotherly leader and guide of the revolution, for what you describe as, quote, intellectual discussions, unquote. Also, your credibility on human rights issues with the Libyan government is unimpeachable due to your status as original spokesman, jury member, and 2002 laureate of the Muammar Gaddafi Prize for Human Rights. Accordingly, Mr. Ziegler, can you tell us about the steps you are taking with the Libyan government to protect these hunger refugees? Second, we note that your report praises as examples for the world to follow the governments of Cuba, Venezuela, and Bolivia, the country which you recently visited and officially endorsed for membership to this council. Skeptics in the West may say that what these particular governments share is a varying degree of hostility towards Western values of political and economic liberty, while others may observe that the leaders of all three also each happen to be laureates of the aforementioned Gaddafi Prize. With Western democracies, being the predominant supporters of the UN human rights machinery, some of its citizens may feel unfairly targeted and begin to question that support. As you know, UN Watch has always advocated that Western governments strongly support this machinery. Mr. Ziegler, to help us make the case and rebut the skeptics, can you tell us about Western governments that you have also praised as worthy examples for the world to follow? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your intervention. I'll 